Hello friends and welcome to our last Wednesday together. Today is Wednesday, it is June 17th, and we have a little bit more to do today than we have been doing the last two days, at least with my videos. Um, I will continue with our attendance today and um, we will do a read aloud after that. That will be one video. And then I'm going to do another video today that has our very last magazine together. It's called, It's Time to Say Goodbye. This is our last science magazine. Hmm. Not really science magazine, just our last magazine together. And um, so make sure to get this out and ready for our next video. I'll just tell you some of the tools or the um, writing tools we are going to need now, just so you have them out and ready to go. We're going to be needing our kindergarten red, our first grade orange, our second grade yellow, and our third grade green, right. And then we're also going to need our purple punctuation and our black labeling line, right. Our normal magazine tools and then our four grade level um, writing markers or crayons. We have red, orange, yellow, green today. Okay, so getting those out. And then let's start with some attendance. Got my sheet out and ready to go. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to randomly choose a name. Oh, okay. Are you ready for attendance? I have my name ready for the first name in our attendance today. Okay, great. We are starting with MJ this morning. Good morning. P D R V S T S F S M T W T O T O A C A V C C H C H E N G K H N J N J N K M L S L H L P M T and M S. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so we finished with our attendance. That means we have the Pledge of Allegiance next. Would you please stand safely for the Pledge of Allegiance? Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. Okay, so my read aloud for today is a book from Mr. Gallagher, actually. He has this book and he um, told me that he likes to read this book at the very end of the year because it's called Hello First Grade. We are first graders. Hello First Grade. Let's read a little bit about first grade. Let's see what our book says. Our book is by Joanne Ryder. Pictures, or the artwork, is by Betsy Lewin. The cover we see three characters. The first one has a name tag that says Robin. The second one has a name tag that says Katie. And the third one has a name tag that says Matt. So we have Robin, Katie, and Matt. Looks like Katie might be holding a bunny rabbit, maybe? A 
Maybe they have a class pet. Let's find out. Hello, first grade. On the first day of school, the new first graders looked all around their classroom. It was a cheery place. I can read that sign, said Gabe. <gasps> Gabe! It says, hello, first graders. We know a Gabe. Gabe, are you in, are you in the first grade class already? Oh my gosh. Hello, first graders. They're looking around the classroom. This is what we did on the first day of kindergarten. And what you'll most likely do, I'm not sure because I'm not a first grade teacher, but most often your teacher shows you around the classroom on the first day of school. And that's what these characters are doing in their classroom. Good morning, said their teacher. I am Miss Lee. Let's sit on the rug and get to know each other. My front tooth fell out, said Katie. Mine is very wiggly, said Meg. We just had a conversation like this over Zoom. We all talked about our wiggly teeth. So you do that in kindergarten and you do that in first grade as well. I'm new, said Nick. We just moved here. I like cats, said Lisa. I have a twin, said Matt. Somebody in our class has a twin too. Do you remember who it is? Right, River and Jude. That's right. I have a twin, said Matt. Mike looks just like me, but he can whistle. Oh. After everyone finished, Miss Lee said, there's someone I want you to meet. Who do you think Miss Lee wants them to meet? That's what I'm thinking too. This is Martha, said their teacher. She is very gentle. If you are kind, you can help take care of her. That makes sense. Treat the um, Martha with kindness because you treat everyone with kindness. So you should do the same thing with Martha. Miss Lee often let Martha out of her cage. Soon the class was used to seeing the bunny hop by as they worked. When Katie was reading on the rug, Martha licked her face. Woo. Your whiskers tickle, Katie told her, giggling. Here's Martha licking Katie's face. Silly Martha. Martha hopped over to Gabe and sat on his puzzle. Everyone laughed. It's okay, Martha, said Gabe. My little sister does that too. One morning, Nick had a time out. He felt bad, but Martha came and tugged on his pants. She sat by him while he petted her. Soon, he felt much better. Sometimes you just need to take a breather during the day and things can comfort you like maybe a stuffy or another person or maybe an animal. Different things help different people with their um, to feel better with their mood if they're having a, um, a sad day or they're having an angry day. Sometimes it helps to have something that can comfort you. As the weeks pass, the class discovered things about Martha. Often she slept in her cage, but she liked to take naps in other places too. Do you see Martha in the, this page? Right, she's sleeping under the wagon. Do you see Martha in this page? Oh, it looks like maybe that's the, um, either the students' places where they put their backpacks or maybe even a, um, a dress up area. Maybe there's some hats and gloves and scarves to wear. I found her, said Meg. She was sleeping in my cubby hole. Oh, so that's where they would put their backpacks and jackets and things like what we do in our cubbies in 103. One day the principal visited them. Friday is first grade day, she said. Each class does something special. It's fun to see everybody's class spirit. We can make a special quilt for first grade, Miss Lee told her class. She gave them each a piece of cloth. 
Paint a picture of yourself or a friend in class, she said, and I'll sew the pieces together. I love this idea. This could be a good, good first grade activity, could also be a good kindergarten activity, or even a second, third, fourth, fifth grade activity. I like this a lot for a first day of school thing to do together. Brian and Katie reached for the white paint. Everybody wanted white paint. When Miss Lee saw the pictures, she smiled. Martha was in each painting. Oh, that's why everybody wanted white paint because Martha's white. Sometimes a class picks a special animal, said Miss Lee. I think you just picked ours. We could be the first grade bunnies, Robin said. We'll need bunny ears, said Nick. I can make them, said Brian. Ooh, what good teamwork. He helped draw the ears. Nick and Gabe cut them out. Lisa showed the class how to make bunny puppets. Our puppets have lots of spirit, Robin said, wearing hers, or waving hers. Ooh, she looks like she might have made it out of a paper bag. On Friday, Miss Lee's class was excited. They put on their bunny ears and carried their puppets proudly. Meg and Gabe carried a big basket. Their class quilt was inside. You all look wonderful, said Miss Lee. Now let's get Martha. Where is she, asked Katie. Martha was missing. Where could Martha have gone? I don't know. Do you have an idea? Where do you think Martha went? Oh, maybe. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. Right. The children helped each other think of Martha's hiding places. They looked for her together, but could not find her. Matt even went next door to Mike's class, but Martha wasn't there either. Oh, look. So this was... Martha, or um, the class that we've been talking about with Gabe and Katie and Brian, they made bunny ears on their first day, and they went over to, oh, to Mike's class. What did they make to put on their heads for the first day of school? Right, they made crowns. So we have bunny ears and crowns in a different class. That would be like Mr. Gallagher's class, and Mr. Jones's class, and um, we can see that they are good friends and they can walk over and say, have you seen Martha? We'll find her later, said Miss Lee. I'm sure she's just taking a nap somewhere. The first grade bunnies were quiet at each class as each class took its turn on stage. When it was their turn, the class lined up. No one smiled. It was hard to feel happy when Martha was missing. Gabe and Meg tried to pull the quilt from the basket, but it was stuck. Hmm, that's making me think about something. Is that making you think about something? Why do you think the quilt is stuck? Suddenly, Martha sat up and peeked out to look at them. Look, cried Meg. Martha was sleeping in our basket. The first grade bunnies hopped happily onto the stage. They tossed their ears and raised their puppets high. That's my brother, cried Mike. He whistled at Matt and waved at Martha. Katie gently held up Martha's basket. This is our bunny, she said. She lives in our classroom. She hops around sometimes while we work. We take care of her and we love her. Floppy ears and hoppy feet, ch chanted the class. We all think our Martha's neat. Oh, that's fun, it's a rhyme. It says, floppy ears and hoppy feet. We all think our Martha's neat. Feet and? Neat, right. Hooray, bunnies, everyone cheered. Afterward, Miss Lee said proudly, you are a great class with lots of spirit. The children smiled at each other. 
They were happy to be first graders together. I love that. That makes me think that first grade is very similar to things that we would do in kindergarten. They did artwork and they collaborated or they worked together with the other first grade teams or the other first grade classes. We've been doing that all year. Hmm. Similar to kindergarten. I love to think about that, that it might seem different because you might have new friends or friends that you made this last year in a different kindergarten class. You might have them in your new first grade class. You might have a new first grade teacher, but you're going to be doing a lot of similar things, a lot of similar activities with maybe some new thinkings. So I really like that story because it helps show what first grade might look like. We don't know because this Miss Lee is a, we don't have Miss Lee at our school, but um, there's some things that you never know you might see happening in first grade. Okay, everyone, don't forget my next video is our last science magazine together. So get that out and get out your um, tools for writing and we'll get started on that. This is going to be a full magazine with lots of underlining. So get ready with your markers for some underlining. I'll see you all in just a second. Bye everyone.